Here's a real fun hobby. This is very cheap to make. Easy mold making. But the fun part is taking it all off once it's been cast. So, just like a little rubber glove. Number one. I think the light's too bright. That's a pelican. So these are some of the moulds that I've made. And for one of the sculpture classes that I do. And in every class, there's roses. So you can paint the outside of those, paint the roses, add a little hook on the back, and it's a good little wall hanging for the bedroom. Clean up all the edges. It's a great hobby. Sometimes the moulds are a little bit more complicated. This one here is a turtle. So it comes off. Now with the turtle, the only thing is his fins. So you see the turtle comes out. Lovely. Now with this one, you have to be a little bit careful because of his fins. But with that, let the little turtle, the little turtle. Now on the top there, you can, I've made the original prototype and lowered the shell in a pattern by about five millimeters. So you can put the mosaic tile in there. Usually good to have around about two or three different colors. You can put all in the shell there. Once you paint it, you've got yourself a really nice looking turtle. Another wall hang. Now, if you want to subscribe, I do have lessons on mold making and I will be posting them up very soon. So hit the subscribe button. You can learn nice, simple ways to make hangings for the wall that are very cheap and you can cast them over and over again as many times as you like.
another one. Wall hanging. These are nice and simple because they're very flat. They're not very high once they're molded on the board. But they're a lot of fun. Very simple to make. And that is flowers. And they're actually lilies, I, tulips. And you can see the petals. Again, paint the border. You can paint the flowers. Add a little wall hanging at the back. Once you trim all the edges, very nice wall hanging. This one is a combination mold. This is a picture frame. This one's a little bit more detailed. It has quite, quite intricate pattern, but I've made the back of the frame as well as the front of the frame. Sometimes getting the practice. Here it comes. Yep. That's how far it comes out. And you've still got to, ah, there you go. It left and right back and forward left and right back and forward i remember there was a little trick to this one back and forward that's it front of the picture frame so if I peel the rubber off you can see I better do it to the front that's the way Can you see that? So that's a little picture frame with a hummingbird. Hummingbird, the little flower. Now, the centerpiece is It's always moulded over, the little photo frame, but there it is. You trim up the edge. Good little knife. Trim the edge. Beautiful. Little picture frame.
Now the other end is the back. That's pretty simple. You can see that just peels off, comes straight out. So the back is all molded. You can have a little board there where you put the photo and then Velcro at the back and the little picture frame all good I'm off to my sculpture class. If you want to hit the subscribe button, what we're doing soon is we're going to do some more mold making and you'll learn some of the simple tricks here. Nice and easy, very low cost to make molds and a very low cost to actually make the castings. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, look forward to more videos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.